Hello, sweetnesses, and welcome back to Let's Play Shadow Man. We're making some cold, hard progress at the moment. We really are. Getting loads of them dark souls. That's what we're doing. Hello, we died, didn't we? And now we're back here. Okay, um, now, which way would be the best way to go with? I think this way at the moment. Yes, because we died, didn't we? Hiya! Hiya! I do love all of this leapfrogging stuff. This is good old-fashioned platforming, is this. And we do like a bit of that on this channel, we do. They were all the rage at this point because 3D was so new, like, platformers were everywhere. Because, of course, platformers had been massive in the 16-bit era, so they were still very much considered to be a, a significant subgenre of video games. They kind of went away after that now. Can I do this? Whoa, no, don't you dare. Don't you knock me off, you bartender. Um, mm, I'm not sure. Can I? I can't get up on those, can I? No. I can get down here, but I'm not sure if I can... No. Huh? No, it's not going to work. Oh, well. Maybe we have to come through another way here. Shit. Yeah, I know, right? I know, Mike. We got murdered there, didn't we? Can't make any headway down that way yet either. So I suppose the train is the uh, the best way to go. Okay, let's go, Mike. I do love these transport systems. They're very convenient. Well done, Saucy Jack. Well done. He's done a very good job. I'm fairly sure you can agree. You know. Oh, that doesn't sound good. I mean, you hire Saucy Jack to do a job, he does it well. It doesn't matter what you ask him to do, you know, whether it's architecture or human butchery. Hello, what's going on here? Oh, this is creepy. Oh, the friggin' music again. Scaring the shite out of me. That's just creepy, isn't it? What the? Oh, Luke, no. Is that you, bro? Mm. This way, Mikey. Luke. Come on, mm, I have bad feelings about this. Oh, look, a children's drawing of a dark soul and blood. I have a horrible feeling about this, Mike, I can tell you. Oh, it's a toy train, isn't that nice? Pictures of the symbols of the five. Oh, that friggin' music. That's the playroom music. It's not good. The playrooms are some of the more disturbing areas in Shadow Man, I will tell you now. Oh, wow. What the? Holy Jesus. Luke. Oh, you. Okay, I'm here now. Stay there. I'm coming to get you. Look at this. You know that dark engine that um, Legion said that uh, should be constructed in Deadside? Well, this is it. This is that dark engine. This is what's powering the asylum. Cool, right? I'm sure you'll agree. So what we need to do, there are points all throughout the asylum where you can shut these bastards down. We need to do them all. And that's how you progress through to Obavar, which is at the end of the game. It looks like a spider, doesn't it? It's so cool. It's so cool. I'm sure I don't need to tell you that um, little Mikey over there bit suspect to be honest. Oh! Oh! These guys! These are the surgeons! These guys are tough. These guys are pains in the arse. They've got some nasty, nasty weapons and some very, 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 very nasty proclivities indeed. These are some of the tougher enemies in this game, actually. And they've also got rippers, which are those, those um, assault cannons they've got going on. Nasty things. Nasty things they are. Do not like. Do not like. So. We're nearing the playrooms, aren't we? 
Not good, I can tell you that. Not good at all. The playrooms are vile. Very disturbing. Very disturbing. As you can imagine. And probably tell from the music. Oh, hello. Hello, what have we got in here? Hey, Mikey? Shut up! Shite. Oh, I have that, definitely. Oh, can't destroy that. That's interesting. But there is a way through there. Oh, God. The ambient sounds in this game are awesome. Such attention to detail was put into this game. It deserves a bigger following than it has. I mean, obviously, it's got enough of a following to warrant a remaster, which is grand, you know? But I do wish the franchise had gone on a bit longer, you know? As I say, Shadow Man 2 is a waste. It's such a shit piece of... Ah! It's such a terrible game. It's just not worth it, unfortunately. Grand shame. Basically killed what was a very promising franchise. Oh, the, the child crying is not nice. I could do without that, quite frankly. Rock on, Mike, and kill the bastard. Are we even hitting him? I don't think we are. Oh, we are now. Or are we going wide here? Oh, that got him. Oh. Proving quite difficult. Oh, we got him. We got him. He burned up. I think this music has been augmented, or it's new. I do know that several of the soundtracks that were cut out of the original game are present in this remaster, as are several of the areas that were cut out. The asylum apparently is much bigger than it was in the original game, which is brilliant. More asylum is always good. Ooh, locks. Okay. What's with the... Ooh. Oh, hello! Those distorted voices in the background are horrible. Love them. These guys are very cenobitic. If you get up close to them, th look, they're all wounded and leather-bound and... Bleh. Certainly some of the nastier enemies in the, uh, in the asylum. Still haven't seen everything yet, though, I can tell you. Ooh. Ooh. Interesting. Ooh, hello. Okay, so there's a way... Hmm. Certainly a way of getting into there. But how we do it, I'm not sure. Of course, this was long, 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 long before the actual game Dark Souls was out, so... You know, any, uh, any reflection there too, or reference there too, is purely incidental. What is over there anyway? I mean, what's in them? Ah, so we do need that. Hang on. So how do we... Huh! Nope, that ain't gonna work. From here, maybe? Can we get up from here? Ah! Uh. Huh! Nope, that ain't gonna work. So, there must be a very sort of roundabout way of jumping up there. Very roundabout. Ah! Ah ha ha ha! That's how you do it. Another one? Yeah! I mean, it's very simple. It's a very simple structure to this game. Very old-fashioned in a way. It's a collectathon. You know? It's, um... It's got the feeling of a, an old-fashioned, like, uh, Euro platformer about it, in the sense that you've got to collect everything, as you often do in those games. 
but translated into this 3D environment with the horror motif, it really works. It feels good. Yeah, it feels good to play. Very satisfying in a, in a, in a visceral level. Oh my, my stars and garters, we're at the, um, the cathedral again. But we're in the upper rafters this time. What's up, you fuckers? Stop firing at me. My anchors. Wow, look at this. Um, I am. I have been here before, haven't I? This is the uh, the Cathedral of Pain, right? But is it a different part? That's the thing. It might be, you know. Very well defended. Whatever it is. They don't want me getting in here, do I? Oh, hello. Oh, there's something here. No, we haven't been here yet. This is where we get the first retractor. Right, very cool. First, you bastard. Yeah. The retractor's a holy implement. Or unholy implements. A retractor, we need five of them in this version of the game. In the original, you only needed a few, but in this one, we need five. What's this weird furnace? What is going on in there? Ooh, not sure I like that. Yeah, the retractors are basically artifacts of profane surgery, and we are going to use them. And it's gonna be fun. Hello. Oh, hello. Yeah, yeah. All of that. All of that. Thank you very much. Brilliant. So we are making a decent whack of progress here. We really are. Lovely. So how do we get out of this area? I mean, there's a door up there. The way we came in. But that seems to be it. There's nothing else. If they look, that tells you what you use the retractors for. Very cool, right? I love the fact that they're treated with reverence. That's that's kind of cool in a very profane way. I find it very appealing. The notion of a a, a place like the Asylum, which is a temple to all that is would otherwise be considered unholy, but which is treated with all reverence and sanctity, I, there's something about that that does that just does it for me, my loves. On a purely mythological level, if nothing else. What? Well, you should already know that. I mean, especially if you've read any of my writing. I mean, bloody hell. Tis a bit profane, don't you know? Right, okay. I'm going to go down this way, I think. Am I going the right way? I am not. There. God, I, I, I've said it before and I'll say it again, I, I don't know whether they've done something to the controls to make them more workable or what, but this feels really good. It, the, the controls are really excellent in this version of the game. I'm, I'm very impressed. You know, remastering a game like this can, can, could not have been easy. So all kudos, you know? Oh, stop it, you! Stop hitting me with your chainsaw! I'm gonna burn you to death. Thank you. Bastard. Oh, there's quite a few of you, aren't there? Oh dear. Come on, then. Look at his pathfinder. You can't get round the corner. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, fuck. Oh yes, the train is nearby, isn't it? That's right. Okay, we've got everything from around here now. We've got all the Dark Souls. Uh, oh god, this is not nice. Well, but, you know, we may have to go and use the Retractor. That may be something we actually have to do um, to get 
a particular item. Oh, that just activates that. I don't need that. I've done that already. Hello! Mr. Chainsaw, dude. First day! <laughs> Never gets old. Never gets old. Oh. Come on, then. Waiting around for the lift. That's a very brightly coloured door for the asylum, isn't it? It looks kind of jaunty. I like the fact they have a bell for safety's sake. <laughs> you know, as these cages are coming through. So funny. Oh, be careful. Don't want to be hit by the cage, do ya? You know, in the temple where everyone has been subjected to all kinds of unnecessary surgery. Oh, fuck. Look at him go. Ah, you can't climb though, can ya? That's a bit beyond ya, isn't it, eh? Boom! <laughs> Hello, dead siders. Stop eating me. Thank you. Ah, excellent. And this brings us back here. Wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. That's a lovely roundabout trip. Now, where should we go next? I think... I think I should probably go see Nettie. She might have something to tell us about Luke being in the asylum and all that. I've got coffee, by the way. Nettie, Luke's in the asylum. He's he was not calling Mike. out to me. Nettie, he needs me to help him. Hold on there, Mike. You can't be sure of anything you see or hear in that place. Yeah, she's right. And stay focused on what you gotta do. But he's my kid brother, Nettie. Luke's dead. Try and get that through your stupid numbskull head. The <laughs> evil's using you. Can't you see that? Trying to weaken your resolve. Just get the dark souls and stop screwing around. Ooh, yeah. that told me. Get the hell out of here, Mike. We ain't got much time left. Ah, bye. Fair enough, Nettie. Jeez. Not, uh, not terribly forgiving, is she? Uh, but fine. Right, um, where should we go now? Um, we could go to the Cathedral of Pain, actually. Or we could go and talk to Jaunty. Hmm. I'll just pop and see Jaunty for a moment, see if he's got anything new to say. Sometimes he does. And there's bound to be loads of shadow doors I can open now, too. What's up, Michael? You look like you've seen a ghost. Which nah. I suppose is understandable, considering where we are. Luke was in the asylum, Jordy. He was calling out for me. I don't know, but maybe I was just imagining it. You know, as the bird said, there are more things in heaven and dead side than are dreamt of in your philosophy. Shakespeare said that? Well, not exactly, but clear enough. I need to find out whether Luke's in there, and why. You do that, Michael. I wish I could help. Honest, I do. But, well, you know how it is. Uh, yeah, I know how it is. Jaunty is basically useless. Um, right. Let's try the Cathedral of Pain. Come on, Slowpoke! Come on, Slowpoke! Come on, Slowpoke! There are certain documents and items... Oh, whoa, bloody hell. That we need to get, but I think they're in the live side version of where the five are. Okay. Oh, God, there's more of them. Good. Ah! Lots of you guys around here, aren't there? So I've done that. Don't need to go there. That's the way to the Lizard King. Um, hmm. Which one's Jack? 
I th the knife, I think, is Jack, isn't it? <clears throat> we'll soon find out. Well fun. Yep. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's disturbing. Love it. I love the music here. Okay, so this is how you use the retractor. You need to put it in his hand, I think. My god, it opens thus. And there is more within. And within, oh, yeah. the journey continues. Let it be so. So. This is what they're doing. They're creating a schism between live side and dead side. Unfortunately, on this side, we're only Mike. Ah, now that is going to be useful. Journal. Being the journal of John G. Pierce, otherwise known as Jack the Ripper. From hell I have performed the bloody ritual upon myself, and now exist beyond the veil, in the place my master calls dead side. The darkness is visible here. This hell is all I deserve and all that I have ever desired. Here I shall build a monument to stand for eternity, a cathedral to pain, a place of asylum for all of the unique and misunderstood individuals who shall make it their spiritual home as the time of Armageddon approaches. Main gates locked and guarded, chimney, the asylum. Look at this. A great building we shall make of it, and a century shall pass live side before asylum is complete. When it is finally completed, we shall send five of my master's dark souls across the veil from dead side to live side to prepare the way for his armies of judgment. To accomplish this, I have designed a conduit between this world and the next. The gateways between this world and the next I have called schisms. The idea behind this, these is to form a link between two souls on the very brink of crossing over to the next world. So there we are, that's how he's done it. Clever, right? The schism shall act both as transmitting device and receiver receptacles for the five dark souls, projecting them across the veil and receiving them deep within their bloody breasts. The, schism, uh, act, uh, the schisms acting as the receiver receptacles shall be culled live side and erected in gory resplendence by five like-minded individuals, with the strength to dream of the day when he shall bring about his glorious cleansing. With the schisms built in both worlds, dread keys in the form of medical retractors may open them. Skulls exposed, retractor key, oh god. And so shall it be that the five dark souls shall be transmitted across the veil into the receiver receptacles, whereupon the five like-minded individuals shall devour them, thereby imbuing themselves with an immortal, darkly glowering life force. Not only this, but embedded within each of the five shall be a crystal of the Prima Materia, an etheric prism which shall act as a failsafe key to each dark gate, to each soul gate, thereby preventing unbelievers from accessing the ways, the truth, and the death. So symbol. Oh, so each one is a symbol. Legion resplendent at the dark heart of asylum. Symbols of the five, the symbol of the Lizard King. Soul gate, we haven't found those yet. Prism receptacle, prism operated door. The five shall be unstoppable, they shall be immortal, and I myself shall join them as the opener of the ways. Primary power coupling. What a supreme honor, once the schisms are open, are in place and the energizing dark souls devoured by the five, these lives shall erect larger receiver receptacles. These are the soul gates to be built in readiness for the reception of his dark soul armies, for we are many. Holy shit, true form. Dark soul worm in its chest. Etheric weapons in its arms. Holy crap. Mm. Whereas the five initial dark souls projected by the schisms are to be spiritual manifestations, these armies of judgment shall comprise a multitude of actual physical beings called true forms, with each one possessing a glowering dark soul at its cruel core. Thus, on the day of judgment, 
when the time is right, a time which my master has explained shall occur just before the turn of the millennium. Bit late now. The soul gates shall open, and the world shall be cleansed, and a new era shall dawn. Of course, all of the above mechanisms shall require an engine to drive them, a great dark engine housed at the fearful heart of this place he has called Asylum. The dark engine shall power Asylum and control the soul plume, the soul flumes, those storage receptacles containing the soldiers of his army, the true forms. 120 of them, this being the number of dark souls known to be in existence. My master currently possesses but five of these, yet his servants are abroad searching out the remainder. The soul flumes, I haven't encountered those yet either. A crane. Uh, storage receptacles uh, containing true form beams. Uh-oh. Walkways. Energizing link cables. And oh god, drainage tube, skull cap, and soul seal. The dark engine. This is awesome. Here we are. Okay. The vast quantities of etheric power harnessed by the Dark Engine are truly terrifying. I have therefore built into the design a failsafe mechanism. Stabilizing pistons. Stabilizing pistons shall be active within the main block of the engine to counteract any destructive surges of power that may occur. Each stabilizing uh, piston is operated by a console. We found one of them. Here we go. This is it. These, this is what we need. Uh, to deactivate each stabilizing piston, a combination is required. These combinations can only be set with an engineer's key. The combinations are as shown. So now we have it. That's brilliant. So console room... That's it. 245, I think, is the one we want. Oh, no. Console room 1. 555. Five, five. So we could have guessed that, really. But hey, there we go. So it is written. So it shall be the grand design for We Are Many. Signed, Jack the Ripper. Look at the rats everywhere. So now we know. Now we can do it. Now we can actually use it. We are not going to be able to take on Jack. But we can go and have a look. Yeah. Jack is here. Under the sewers of London. But there's not much we can do against him. Not right now, I'm afraid. Anything? Nope. Oh, hello. Oh, Mike, do you really want to? Do you really want to like swim in that? I don't think you do. Because it's filth, like proper filth. Why isn't he getting out? Oh, right, I can't. That's interesting. I just move. Okay. Ugh. Oh my God! Why would you ever want to swim in that? Mind you, he's been in dead side for a while, so I suppose it doesn't make that much difference, does it? I mean, we've swam in the effluent of the cathedral, so, you know, the, the asylum, rather, so... Who gives a shit, right? Oh, we've just gone full circle, okay. Like I said, there's not a great deal we can do, but I am going to go see Jack the Ripper. If we can find him. Music in this section is ace. Hello. Yeah, he sort of operates in an abandoned uh, tube station. Oof. Look at this. I think Mike can drown, so we've got to be quite careful. If I remember correctly, Mike can drown, so... Yes, he can. So, yeah, we're not going to be able to do this yet. He, he just hasn't got the breath for it, so... Let's head back. Now, we can use the bear, actually. I can go. Yeah. So, that's the Cathedral of Pain. Here. That's where we want to go. The engine block. Check back with Nettie and Jaunty if you get lost. Yes, I will. Thank you. We can deactivate this now. Using the engineer's key. Hang on. Just in case. Which will also enable us to progress a little ways, actually. Are these guys back? 
have they reset? Yes, they have. Tits. Not ideal, but uh, hey, what are you going to do? The, the expressions are great. Did you hear him laugh then? That was so cool. Okay, right. Let's deal with this swine. One of the things that really works in Shadow Man is the perpetual um, progress. You, it is possible to get stuck, obviously, but it's rare. There's always something to do. There's always something worth doing, which is brilliant. Okay, you bastard. Gotcha. Oh, he didn't like it. He didn't like that at all. So this is 555, this one, if I remember correctly. There's another one down here, isn't there? There he is, in his little alcove. You know that gun he's got? We'll be getting that, eventually, or a version of it. It's very good, but we'll be saving it for the very last fight in the game. So, 555 is the, uh, the code for this one. Uh-oh. I forgot about you. I really did. For which I apologize. That was rude of me. Here we are. So, 555, so it needs to go to the top for each one. So, if we go up... And one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, and again. Okay. And the same for this one. There we are. And five for this one. That drill sound is not nice. I don't like that at all. There we go. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well, that wasn't good, was it? Ha 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 ha. Actually, that was very good. I like the way it changed the lighting. It's all gone a bit Dario Argento. And look, the steam has stopped. That's cool. I think the music has changed as well. Cool. Slow progress, my loves. Slow progress. And as you go, you get, like, little sub-quests. So now one of the sub-quests is finding all of the piston rooms, right? And activating all of the combinations. It's cool. We've also got to find um, all of the areas where the dark engines are transmitting the dark souls around, right? Here we go, look, it's stopped. And eventually, we'll be able to progress through here, but not yet. That's cool, right? We can't get up on here or anything, can we? I don't think so, no. Just double check in, but we can't. It's very well paced. The game is very, very, very well put together. There's just enough. There's just enough going on. To make everything feel meaningful and worthwhile. It's clever. It's very clever. Now. Has that done stuff in the rest of the asylum? I think it does. Turning off the, um, the pistons, I think, activates or deactivates other things. So, let's go have a look, shall we? 
I'm sure there's something going on. There usually is. Oh, fuck. Aha! Boom! Okay, right. So, we've been that way, we've been this way, and we've done everything we can, I think, down here. I will just double check, just in case. Yeah, we've done everything down here. Okay, so let's take the train back out and see where we get to. If indeed, anywhere. No one in here? Nope, good. Off we go! Ding dong! <laughs> it's very cool. Very, very cool indeed. There's just like visions and imagery all the way through that's derived from horror, from metaphysics, from comic books, all sorts of stuff, all sorts of areas. I love that. I really love that. <laughs> fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. Okay. Can't get out this side. I've got to go down the train. I was going to say, that'll probably involve killing someone, won't it? You know how it is. That's what you get if you try to snap on me, dead siders. Sorry. Okay, so we're here. Now... Where can we go? We've been through there, I'm fairly certain. I'm just going to double check though. <coughs> Fabulous, okay. Oh yeah, I still haven't got the means of burning them down yet. I can't remember for the life of me what the, the item is or what the means is of burning those. Yay, that lovely old-fashioned soundtrack. I mean, composer Tim Haywood, I mean, pff, certified genius, it's beautiful. Certainly one of the more enduring from this era as well. Okay. So back in dead side, are we? Now, anything worth exploring around here? I can't get in there yet. Oh, hello. Hello, hello. Yes, I see that. Thank you. Any more? Ha ha ha. Little sneaky Cado. Just hidden away there. Stuff like that everywhere. You've got to be so on the ball with this one. Because it will trick you. It's tricksy. Okay. Oh, yeah. Can't do that one yet. Hello? Oh, hi. If I got another Dark Soul, I would be... I would have five notches. One, two, three, four is what I've got at the moment. That's right, isn't it? Yeah, one, two, three, four. Haven't got enough yet. Not yet, anyway. But I may do soon. Oh, this is the way back to the temple, isn't it? 
Hmm. I wonder if I can do anything here yet. I'm just going to have a look. Because I might just be able to now. Great. <laughs> Thank you, Mike. I like Mike's commentary, I do. Okay. This is what I want. Away in. <laughs> I mean, what kind of rancid, like, underwater life would you expect to find in this place? Just, duh. They look like flatworms to me. It's like, ugh, gross. Okay. Okay, right. Is this where I want to be? I don't think it is, is it? Oh, it is. No, this is where I want to be. Most definitely. Most definitely. Uh-oh. Sisters. Yeah, let me deal with these, because they're going to get in my way otherwise. You heard me, you're going to get in my way! You didn't have to make things so difficult, you know. But can I get them? Something is telling me that I can. Ah, you know what? I think I can. I'm not sure how, but I'm fairly certain I can get there. Oh, fuck. Oof, maybe not. Maybe not. Hmm. I'm going to give it a go, though. no way of edging round, no. Oh well, let's find a different way then. Because I want them their dark souls, I can tell you. Okay, let's have a look. Whoop! Up you get Mike. can't jump into the lava yet. Not quite that powerful yet. But I will be. Before long. There's no obvious way down, is there? No, not yet. Ah. There are ways down there, but I haven't got the, uh, the tattoo to do it yet, unfortunately. Ah, the marcher is the one I really want. The marcher is going to make all the difference. Ow, fuck. I can't jump up to those, can I? No. I can't make those, can I? No, I don't think so. <laughs> Worth a try. Always worth a try. I know, Mike. I'm sorry. I done fucked up. I get it. Unbelievable. It's not that bad. What do you care, anyway? You just come back to life, you know. Nothing phases you, does it? Indeed, why would it? I don't know why, I, I'm, I'm getting, I feel like I can get those Dark Souls, I just don't know how to do it. Uh-oh. There are sisters down here, aren't there? I'm gonna have to be very careful. Are there, yeah, fuck. Oh, fuck. Is 
Is that hitting me? It's not, is it? Crap, I'm gonna have to get down there. There we go. Oh, she's one of the red ones! One of the tough ones! The boss sisters! Effectively. And she's dead. Good. Okay, so... I've been over there, haven't I? I believe I have. Nice. Whoop. I've been over there, I do believe. Always worth double checking though, you never know. Nice. Let me just see for a moment. Oh, tits. Yeah, I remember this. There's lots of them in here. Lots of them all at once. Yeah, I see. Uh, there's the leader of them. The purple one. Obviously a little bit more status there, right? Only a little bit, mind. Nice. Great music. There's just so many layers to it. There's so many layers to the music. I mean, given the era, it's quite incredible, really. Then again, this was a time of revolutionary video game soundtracks. I mean, you had Final Fantasy VII, obviously, Resident Evil, Silent Hill, uh, and so on and so forth. It's because uh, video game composers were really taking advantage of the new technology of the time. Right, so that's this way. And that brings you around this way. I don't think we can get these yet, can we? No. Oh well. So where should we go? I think... We should probably go to the main asylum at this point. And have a look. See if we can get any more Dark Souls in here, yeah? Why not? Let's go for it. I'm sure we can. Oh, fuck. Ah! Thank you. Because things will have opened up a little bit now. There will be a slight difference to certain areas. And it's always good double checking what's activated, what hasn't, what's changed, what's the same. Ugh. Ah, tits. There's so much environmental detail as well, isn't there? You could just spend ages just looking at it. It's great. It's so horrible. Hmm. Hmm. Is it possible for me to get up there? Or do I have to come in from... I think I've got to come in from that area because I can't get up. Nah. I need to come in through that door up there to get that. So... Let's find a way of doing that, shall we? Or up there. That would work too. 